I'm liking this sniper actually. Fashionable rake hell. Certainly is a nice upgrade to the flame horror show I was using before. So let's have a look at the map, see where we need to go. Friendship Gulag. Let's grab a car. Trip up here. This is a load of heavy section, so maybe the flame weapons will be not so Please good. Lob singularity. Lob to fire burst. Look at one, two, three, three grenades in a row, all with a zero fuse time. Two fire bursts. No words, my no and in the health shop, we've got a spike shield. Nurse ah, class mod, just green ones. Let's have a look at this loadout. Let's see what we have that would be good for loaders. This was actually pretty fun to use, this uh, synergy here. We have this guy, this Dalminator. This is corrosive. That's also level 70. That's E-Tech, isn't it? So let's try, let's play around with this one. This Dalminator. Maybe we'll keep this Flame Sniper on for the uh, Hyperion Soldiers. That's the two shot burst there. Not sure if this weapon is worth using or not, but we'll see what it does. Free. Oh, I think it's like a dart gotcha. type of weapon. Seems to be like a dart style weapon. Which I don't like, the sort of ones where you shoot and then you have the explosion afterwards. How many times do you have to shoot them to get them to blow up? Kind of hard to know how many times you should shoot. So if we do a two bursts there. Is that enough? Seems to be. I don't know whether one burst would be enough. Not very satisfying to use these guns. These guns where you get that delayed reaction of the uh, shots. You know what? I don't really like this gun. Let's just get rid of this one. This one's more fun to use and more satisfying. Let's try this one, this Synergy. I don't know if I have any other corrosive weapons that would be all that useful here. Not really, actually. That's about it.
phase locks. Very nice for the surveyors. shooting me here. Not sure. Let's continue across the perimeter. Got loaders spawning in. Exploding. There's a human there. Could have used a flame sniper for that guy. This pistol's not that strong against these bad there's badass loaders at least. So I wonder if those uh, orbs that came out that came out of that plant are actually homing or not. Oh, that was a loader. I thought that was a here in Solga for a second. Let's keep the rest of the this pistol ammo for the grog nozzle. Let's try something else. That was rubbish, this Dalmanator. Didn't like that one at all. We can try this Thunderbolt Fists. Maybe that'll be fun. Not so great for the... Uh, So good for the uh, crystalisks, but might be better for the for the loaders. Now these loaders do have a habit of constructing right behind you, so have to keep an eye on the mini map here. The gated adaptive shield. This Thunderbolt Fist is certainly more powerful than the uh, other pistol I was using. Hello, Yumiko. How are you? Another super badass loader here. So is this, uh, I'm doing very well, thank you, Yumiko. Just trying out this uh, Thunderball Fist we just got. So seeing how this thing goes. So that uses two ammo per shot. They're probably worth it though, even if it is using two ammo per shot. Seems to do a nice amount of damage. And unlike the uh, Thunderball Fists in Borderlands 3, this one's actually full auto. 
I'm almost dead. Yeah, and actually good, yeah. I haven't used the uh, Thunderball Fists all that much in Borderlands 3. But I didn't really enjoy it as much as the uh, Borderlands 2 version here. Enough. Nice for enemies that stay put. Like when you got the enemy's phase locked, you get those get those hits with those extra projectiles falling down. Let's switch over to a different weapon. We're running out of pistol ammo. We've got the spitter here, the shotgun. And the SMGs. We got the 73 level 73 shock SMG and the slag. Now let's try this shock SMG. Should be good against the surveyors which are shielded. And these engineers are shielded too. The load is not so much. for this surveyor to come back around. Green bandit launcher there. It's probably time to upgrade my level 60 better room. Thank you for the follow Yumiko. Don't really have any good corrosive weapons right now, no. so we'll use this shock one. That was awesome. <laughs> Got the wall loader here and the surveyors. Try to get these surveyors first if I can. Looks like there's still one more surveyor flying around. loader down here. This SMG is doing a decent job. Storming Vexation, level 73. Blue Maliwan SMG. Keeping an eye out for a launcher that might be an upgrade for our Level 60 battle boom. 
Not sure if I found it yet. Try this loot chest here. Blood off a spiker. Nice. Purple Torg pistol. I've got some nice pistols now. I don't really need a purple Torg one. So let's have a look at this. Okay, this is a slag pistol. Not really what I'm looking for. We can get rid of that, even though I do like the blood off pistols. You'll break us out of here if I tell you, right, Mobley? Of course. I'm your pal, Carson. Now where's that chest? The flats, buried under a grave. So when do we bust out of here? I think there might be some more loot chests on this side of the map, this no west side. There. Bunch of enemies here. That was interesting. Stuck behind those ammo boxes. Ah. Hello, Armor Shelt. I'm doing very well, thank you. We just picked up this uh, Thunderball Fists, so I've been playing around with this one. I recently picked up one in Borderlands 3 as well, but uh, I like the Borderlands 2 version better. Pretty decent gun, yeah, it can be useful, particularly for for enemies that uh, stay put for the most part which I guess is good if you're with the phase lock phase lock and the Thunderball fist is probably a good time because you've got those extra extra projectiles falling back down again Some more enemies spawning off oh, above on the roof. So that's it for this section. I think we can can just save quit from here. I think that's the quickest quickest option. How's the looting and shooting going today? Because it's going good actually, so okay, we've got some nice nice items. We've got a couple of couple of unique items. So I've been playing around with the uh, unique items I've found. need to go back out this way. I've literally just got dressed and noticed you were on. I have to go to work in like 10 minutes. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well thanks Armour Shield. Thanks for stopping by to say hello. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you.
Who would you say is your favourite Vault Hunter? Well, I've tried out uh, Axton, Meyer and Zero. I think Meyer's probably the most fun. I've ha I'm having the most fun with Meyer, I would say, out of those three. So eventually I'll try out all of them, but for now, I'm having the most fun with Meyer. Check out these shops here. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So the stash is actually on this map here, on the dust. We can just grab a car. Head over to the stash. So the stash is back this way. Oh yeah, this is the Lyuda area, isn't it? This is where the stash is. So I started off playing Axton, and I think I played him through the normal level and didn't go didn't go any further. Then I did uh, switched over to zero, played him up to OP6. Then I started Maya here. And out of these ones, I think I like Maya the best. So what do we have for weapons? I think probably this uh, shock SMG will be a good choice. And we can leave this flame sniper on as well. I think they're decent choices for this. Dig up the stash. Finally, we can in that church for hours for someone to dig it up in case it was a booby trap. Now hand it over. Damn it, Vault Hunter! You led that Hyperion jackass here! Better idea, jackass. We all draw when the church bell rings for the third time. Truck sick and standoff. Do you find for gear or just get it naturally? Most of the time, yeah, most of the time I just uh, I like to just get it naturally. So apart from a few things, like uh, things like the grog nozzle was very nice. I usually grab a grog nozzle once the difficulty level goes up. In the earlier difficulty levels, I don't don't bother farming for, for anything really, but when uh, when it starts to get more difficult, I'll go for, I'll get a grog nozzle and uh, a magic missile. Congrats. Hope you make better use of so Moxie's endowment. So those are the two things that I'd like to like to farm for. There's a grog nozzle and uh, and when I get up to Ultimate Vault Hunter where the uh, slagging is more important then I'll I'll get I'll get the magic missile just because it just makes slagging a little little bit more convenient. But generally if I'm making good progress through a particular level then I don't really feel the need to to be farming for for gear, and I only only start farming for extra stuff if I start struggling to progress. All right, so that mission's done, and we could farm for a Lauda now if we want to. Yeah, I just find it to be, I just like the variety of uh, just just using whatever weapons you find along the way. I think uh, I enjoy the variety of doing it that like that. So let's just keep going. I 
So we've got stuff in Lair of Infinite Agony. Got a bunch of stuff in Lynchwood, so let's go ahead and do some do some missions in Lynchwood here. So dealing with Mobley and Gettle is much easier with a phase lock skill. That fight becomes much easier. Use the phase lock and use a, a shock weapon. That fight is ends much easier. So we are. Oh, we have to go to Lynchwood. Fast travels way over there. Oh yeah. I guess it's just as easy to travel to the Lynchwood train station from here. like Jimbo dropped anything interesting. Didn't drop a slagger for us. A let off launcher. Glory. Oh, we're all full up. Let's drop some things. We've got some things marked as junk. We can drop those easily. Don't think I'm going to like a slag sl sl uh, spiker. This I didn't really like either, this Dalminator. Seem to be some type of spiker, that Dalminator. Some type of spiker with that uh, delayed explosive rounds. Not very satisfying to use those pistols with the delayed rounds where they explode after a few seconds. Don't usually bother with those spiker weapons. Where does this go? This takes you straight up. I don't usually use this uh, particular staircase. I don't know if I've ever come up this way. Is there anything interesting up here? Just some ammo boxes by the look of it. No, nothing else interesting. We have an option. We've got a couple optional missions here. 310 to Kaboom, breaking the bank. Every day the sheriff of Lynchwood sends whatever iridium she's yanked from the mines back to Jack. That Med shop has a angelic matriarch class mod. Just green stuff there. Ammo shop. Electric jumping biddy. We have a bunch of stuff to sell though. I might just play around with this particular pistol. See what it's like. We don't need this Maliwan corrosive pistol. None of these launchers look worth holding on to. 
Keep an eye out for a better one. Bang stick? No, I don't need that. As far as as far as items go, we've got the Moxie's endowment. I'll keep that one. Proficiency relic. Don't need that. Homing move. That seems dangerous to use, a homing move. To demolition depository capture the RC train so we have a bunch of optional missions here we might as well pick up this other one too Played Borderlands for. Uh, I reckon probably around nine months. Nine months, maybe. I played Borderlands. So I think I've taken Axton through the normal level and uh, zero up to. OP6 and then Maya here. So I think that's been about uh, about nine months worth of playing there. Still enjoying it and I still got still got the other characters to try out as well. So it would be nice. It would be nice to try out all the characters. Probably should have gone for the phase lock guy first. Explosives! Another marauder here. Let's try the shock SMG on this guy. Pretty effective there. You recommend trying Sal next? Yeah, I might try Sal next. So I guess there's only two more characters left to try. Be interesting to see what he like he is like. Kind of interesting to get to a Digistruct Peak and get to try try out the characters at Digistruct Peak, see see how they all perform there. I expect Maya might be a little bit easier. Easier than zero. Dealing with enemies like the surveyors, for example. And the rabbit stalkers too. Calm down. So it goes. Knee high nomad. Don't remember the knee high nomads. This guy's still slagged.
Out of all the water vault hunters, I had the easiest time with Sal on the peak. Right. So Sal's one of the easy ones. I found it to be tri quite tricky with Zero. So I got up to OP6 with Zero, but if I wanted to get further, I probably would have to go with like a sniper build or a melee build to get any further, I think. But yeah, it'll be interesting to try a character that's uh, easier on the peak. Get Make some more progress there. Hardest was Krieg. There's one more enemy around. Okay, so that's interesting. Krieg is the hardest. Up this optional mission down here. That must have hurt. Oh, there might have been an enemy behind me. Felt like I was getting hit from behind. Pushed forward. One more enemy off to the side. Pulling in. Booster shield, scatter gun. So it looks like we just got bandits spawning in that town area. Once we're out of town a little bit, we're not getting these bandits spawning. Puppy medicine. Oh, it looks like Dukino is just going to limp around in a circle. I have cleared out this area now, so I should be able to get there without getting harassed by too many enemies. No, oh, there is still more enemies. Quite possibly doing this mission created more enemy spawns too. 
Let's put on the SMG here just for a shorter range encounter. Got some iridium there. SMG ammo is okay. How are we doing for sniper ammo? Not too bad. Food for Dukino. So it looks like we just have enemies that continually spawn around here. We've got a bunch of enemies spawning behind us, but we don't need to go that way. So we can just ignore them and keep moving to the west. Another one of these knee high nomads. They're not too tanky though. It only takes a couple sniper shots to take them down. I think I walked right over that marauder. So we have to head north now. Get the food here. We have a bunch of side missions here. We'll just continue with this Dukino one. The sheriff will be conducting a sweep of the city sometime in the next few weeks. And no, I don't know what her real name is. All I know is she deputized me at gunpoint. She scares the crap out of me. And I really hope she's not listening to this. You won't even Use a magic missile to slag these guys while I wait for my phase lock to cool down. Stick midget. Another one down. Quiet. Oh, it burns. I am liking this Meliwan flame sniper. Kind of getting sold on these Maliwain snipers. Mostly been using the tour, the uh, the Bladoff and the Jacobs snipers. Haven't really touched the Maliwain ones all that much. And these are actually fun to use. More food around the back here. I guess that shuts down a force field that's guarding a loot chest up the top. I think I, was, I must have still been in explosive range of that particular tank. Sheriff here with this week's bounty. The Lambert twins, five thousand dollars. Egg Lambert, eighty six hundred dollars. Blood King, twenty-five thousand dollars. Alive is preferable, but I'll take him dead if you've got sufficiently entertaining video evidence. Ton of enemies are on here. 
quite a nice little area to snipe from actually. Quite uh, troublesome without uh, phase lock because I do like to roll around and take cover. Keep an eye out for ammo. I'm starting to run low on ammo. I've been using mostly this sniper. I do have plenty of other nice weapons though, particularly SMGs now that I'm using this cat class mod. Look just here, something purple, Maliwan. Slag sniper, 53% oh, slag chance. What's my current slag sniper doing? I think it's doing more than that. Let's sort by type. Not that I'm using the slag sniper much, but this Jericho's got 64% slag chance, so I'll keep the one with the highest slag chance. Wanted to try if I can jump up onto that roof. I don't think you can. Gun shop, we have an opportunity to sell our junk. I haven't tried this Torg pistol out yet. Maybe I should give it a shot. What else do we have to sell? We can sell this white shotgun. And what else? We'll keep those snipers. As far as items go, We'll keep the rest of that stuff too. Guns. So, I gun shop has a level 73 green calipine. I don't need that. Here's the last bit of food for Dukino. This is the sheriff. Rumors that Lynchwood might be coming. Civilized is opportunity. Let Jack have his ivory towers. I came to Pandora for action. Another bone crusher. And a marauder. And an outlaw. Oh, still phase locking enemies. Another knee high nomad. Pretty weak, those knee high nomads. Got a bunch of grenades here. Just green ones, nothing worth picking up. And a green Hyperion slag pistol there. There is a loot chest around here. I think I did turn off the force field for it. Not up this way. Somewhere around here. Maybe up this way. Oh, it might, it might be that one there. Yeah, it's probably this one here. Gotcha. I 
that outlaw probably spawned from that door there behind me. I was too obsessed with this loot here. I wasn't keeping an eye on the minimap. So we have grenades, bunch of blue ones, homing Tesla, homing transfusion, rubberized corrosive cloud, rubberized fire burst. One of those that I want. Hello Squiggy. And thank you very much for the seven months. We found we found a Thunderball Fist today. Let's see. We found the th Thunderball Fists. That was probably the most interesting thing we found today was this Thunderball Fists. And this guy as well, DVA Stalker. Not sure what this one's about. But I tried out the Thunderball Fist and it's certainly more fun to use in Borderlands 2 than 3. And I finally leveled up enough to use that uh, rake hell that I've been holding on to. It's the purple rake hell here. And this has been actually fun to use. I've enjoyed using this. I haven't used the Meliwan snipers all that much, but uh, I've been having having a good time with this uh, flame rake hell here. So that's been fun to use. Makes me want to uh, explore a little bit more with the Meliwan snipers. Because I haven't really used them all that much. Here's the mission item for the Bane, Bane mission. We're not currently doing the Bane mission, but we got the item for it. Looks like he's a spawn point down here. This tank is about to explode. Sometimes you get items dropping from those explosive tanks. And I think, yeah, there is a loot chest here. With a Torg launcher in it. I think there might be another loot chest nearby too. Like too close to each other. So now we can head back, give the food to Dukino. Might be quicker just to save quit. Well, got to go. Have a good one. Thank you for the follow, Yumiko, and thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. If you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. So, cunning binder. Actually, something else that I found was uh, the. Let's have a look at the class mods. I found a blurred trickster blue one. So this is something else I've been keeping an eye out for a blue blurred trickster. I found, finally found one in a shop, so I bought this one as well. I'm also looking for a blue breakneck banshee as well. The best I've found is this green one, but I'm keeping an eye out for a blue one. Has the right CR wrong secondary skill boost. Okay, so it's got the oh right, so it's got the right chain reaction plus six, but wrong secondary life tap. So that's not a good one then. 
So I'll keep looking. So I guess this might still, the Breakneck Banshee, the green one, probably still worth holding on to. It's still got a plus five fleet, I guess, until I find something better. So plus five is ideally kinetic reflection, right? Okay, so plus six chain reaction and plus five kinetic reflection. All right, I'll keep an eye open for those. Oh, we have another optional mission here. Might as well pick this one up while we're here. Trains were made to be destroyed. Every day, the sheriff of Lynchwood sends whatever iridium she's yanked from the mines back to Jack. That stops today. You're going to blow up the train that she uses to transport the stuff. Might as well continue with the Dukino missions now that we've started with those, so... Once Brick's finished talking, I'll switch over to the Dukino mission again. But at least it's got plus six in CR for the damage if you need it. Okay, so maybe I should hold on to it then. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep it for now until I find something better. So chain reaction and the fire rate. Please More enemies on the side here. of enemies down here probably a good spot to snipe from up here this guy's still slagged follow the orb to the next target Most of the enemies dealt with. I was wondering where that outlaw came last time. I had another enemy in that same area that just sort of popped up from nowhere. So they do crawl out from underneath the buildings. Not sure where that bruiser is. Oh, there's one. Please stop. This could be the bruiser here. That's Dukino there. Right there. Trying to phase like Dukino. It's a tricky little area because they just spawn right underneath you. Oh, 
I'll switch over to the SMG just in case something spawns right beside me. Like this guy. Stay Rakehill doing work, I say. Yes, it's very good. It's very good. I've pretty much ignored the Meliwen snipers for the most part. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just actually pay more attention to them and use them because th this one's been very nice. Yes, I must have got hit by a grenade there. Tricky little section with all the all the spots that the bandits can uh, crawl out of. Let's switch the mission back over to the Dukino missions. Fed and healed the Skag. He still looks a bit hungry though. So 25,000 XP, $176,000 reward. He still looks hungry, huh? Well, maybe some Skag Tonks will fill him up. Just shoot enough Skags in the mouth and you'll have a friggin' smorgasbord ready for him. So pick up Skag Tongues next. Doesn't look like anything interesting dropped on the other side. Who was shooting at me? Someone. Someone took a few shots and then DA rode. I don't think the enemies can get hit by the train, so it wasn't the train that killed him. have one item that dropped here. Oh, they can. Right. What are you looking at? I've seen a marauder like seemingly look, look looks like he jumped straight in front of the train and he didn't die so I thought that maybe they were just immune to the train but maybe he just missed the train. This is the sheriff. Train doesn't care. Train go brr. Yeah, train doesn't care about whether it's friend or foe. I didn't know that actually, that the train could actually kill the enemies. I just thought that uh, only the player could get hit by the train. That would be a stylish kill to a singularity, an enemy in front of the train to get, uh, to get run over. First tongue, one of five. Looks like you just get one tongue per area. It's not like some of the other missions where you can just keep farming a particular area for mission items. You just get one per area. I 
I don't think we go down that way. I think we go up here. I think that's Dukino's mum's cave down there. Kind of weird. Why would you need barbed wire over these uh, over these posts here? What does that accomplish? Maybe just some perverted decoration. I did end up face locking one way down the back. Got a couple enemies right next to me here. Hopefully it's not one of those uh, lab rats that do the big damage up close. Snipe from up here. Oh, I got hit. Got hit from that explosive barrel way over here. Stay still. One more enemy over here. Oh, he's behind there. He's halfway up that ramp. There he is. Difficult to see these enemies in the, in the dark here. In this dark time of night. Time of day. Night time. Now we just have that one enemy again that's halfway up the ramp. You can get a bomb cart from that depository. Shut the door at the end of the track before the bomb reaches it. Okay, so we can do this mission as well while we're here by the look of it, so we might as well do this part do part of this train mission while we're here. Get both of these done at the same time. So we start here. So do we need to hit this one? Good going. There we go. Now grab the ball. Damn, you strong. Take it to the abandoned train tracks. You're gonna put it on a collision course with the sheriff's meridian train. So now we can continue with the tongues. One more enemy of that way. Pretty sure there's a loot chest up here. On top of the building, not down here. Bunch of white relics there. I can sell them I suppose. Relics are quite expensive. Looks like something you can interact with because it's glowing green, that fan. Might as well do this part of the mission too while I'm here. Let me tell you something about Brick. We snagged him 
during the fall of New Haven. Oh, this part is timed, isn't it? So maybe I should switch the missions over, considering this is timed this bit. It was this little brown thing. Once I wrap my hands around it. Not sure if I'm gonna make it, but we'll see if I can make it. You could barely hear the crack of the bone over his sobs. I mean actual sobbing, like a baby. It was pretty embarrassing. Shut up! Might as well get this done while I'm here. Oh, I think I did it too early. I think I hit the plunger too early. I think you have to hit the plunger after it starts picking up the load. Not beforehand. So I might as well go back to the other mission. The Dukino one. We got one skag tongue, plenty left to go. Let me just check where is the next one. Oh, it's down south. Down this way. Alright, before we get that extra tongue, I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back. <laughs> 